please can I have your account number? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, take it easy. At times, most of our tellers, because of pressure of work, seems to be uh, here's um. Yes, here we are. Actually, you have a balance of them. One thousand naira. Uh, before then, your balance was one point five million. But um, one Mr. Bode Ola Dele, also a signatory to the account, withdrew one million four hundred ninety-nine thousand naira just um, last week. Mother. I wouldn't kid you, Zeno. It's not looking good. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I find that the cholesterol in your system is higher than it was before. You need to slow down on certain things that you eat. These things are gradually but slowly killing you. And I also find that your smoking is on the rise again. Just take a look. It's, it's even showing on your lungs. Look at it. I know I'm overweight, so I need to uh, lose some weight and give up cigarettes or cut down my cigarettes and, and I'll be fine, right? It's not enough to make me feel like I'm dying. You know, the heart is a very, very delicate thing and we don't take chances with it. That's why I'm urging you to please slow down. If you continue like this, we'll be forced to bring you in for surgery. Surgery. Find me coming here, gentlemen. Oh, of course, Dr. Peters. Please do forgive my manners. Um, Zeno, this is Dr. Peters. He's a consultant cardiologist. I had your last result sent to him and he requested to be here at your next diagnosis. Uh, he's here to give you advice in his professional capacity. Specialist, eh? That serious? Okay. Dr. Peters. What kind of surgery are we talking about here? Relax, Mr. Zeno. There is good news and bad news. Which would you like to hear first? The bad news. The bad news is that a bypass surgery is required. A bypass is advised when there is significant narrowing of the coronary artery probably due to consumption of um, foods with high cholesterol. An artery is taken from another part of the body and used to bypass the blockage in the coronary artery. Can't you just flush out the blocked artery instead of taking one artery again from another side of my body? You know, flushing a coronary is a very dangerous and delicate surgery. It is only advised in cases where a bypass fails. Statistically, bypasses have an 80% success rate, while flushing has 50-50 chance. It could go either way. I'm sorry. All right. I hope the good news is good. Actually, it is. Well, uh, the good news is that uh, we do it the physical way. We have you reduce your weight through physical exercises and then of course we monitor your weight loss and then we see how your heart picks up. Oh. Well, will, will this eliminate surgery completely? Yes. You have a very good chance. Okay. Thank you. I see you. You look younger and much prettier. <laughs> You're looking very good. Uh, flattery will get you everywhere. 
Joseph. Oh, Auntie, come on. Believe me, it's true. And everything here seems okay. Just do us a favor, take your drugs regularly. Um, I guess that's about all. We'll see you in a month's time for your follow-up checkup. Okay. Thank you very much, my dear. Ah, oh, regards to the family. I will, I will. I'll be off now. Your drugs uh, should be ready at the pharmacy for pickup. Okay. Right. Regards to Bobby. Bobby, is there something wrong? I'm fine. Sure? You look really worried, even troubled. You know, I'll, I'll feel much better once I reach body. Oh, did you pass him back? Now, that way for talk now. You had me really worried. Is he okay? Well, I can't tell till I see him now. Mufan, please, um, I have to leave very early and I can't even get to the gym. Will, will you please cover for me, please? Let's do this. Of course, anytime. Yes, can I help you? Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? You come to my house and you ask me who I am? Your house? I'm um, sorry. There must be some kind of mix-up here. I'm looking for Bode or Ladele. Oh, okay. He no longer lives here. He no longer lives here. No, th this is a mistake. Oladele? Yes, Mr. Bode Oladele and his wife. I thought you knew them. His wife? Yes, his wife. Sorry, are you by any chance Miss Obichukuma? Oh, okay. In that case, you're the one who asked that I give a letter or some stuff. He said you'd come by for them. Just a minute. Something? Have you taken medication? 
No, don't worry. I'll, I'll take some aspirin. I'll just go and lie down. I hope you don't mind. Yes, I do mind. Are you trying to tell me that my shoulders are not broad enough to comfort you anymore? Look, just tell me what exactly is wrong with you. What exactly it is that you're trying so hard to hide? I'm fine. It's just a headache. Obi, please, give me some credit. Everything was all right with you, too. You had no inkling about this. Oh, how wicked. I thought we were getting somewhere. Oh, I mean, to clear out your joint account that was meant for your wedding? That is diabolical. We didn't fight. We didn't quarrel. Nothing. I know you won't want to hear this right now. But you're much better off without him. And you know what they always say? When God closes a door, Somewhere he always opens a window. It hurts so much. I mean, where did it all go wrong? What did I do? No. I loved him, Mommy. I loved him so much. You didn't do anything wrong, my dear. Except maybe trust the wrong person. You know, this, these things happen for a reason. Buddy. Mom? Uh -huh. Do you miss Dad? Every day. Like it was yesterday. Thank you so much, Mommy. You're so good to me. God bless you, Mommy. God bless you. too early for this, okay? Very well then, I need some money. You know how to get it, why come to me? I need 500,000 naira today. What for? Business. <laughs> Since when did that business start? Just because I ask you for money, you don't need to ask me so many questions. Very well then, Zeno, I'll find it in my own way. Hmm? Yeah. 
Do you think we can ever make this work again? <laughs> Question. Z for Zeno. What's good, bro? Are you good? Down. <laughs> ZZ. I'm alright. How's real? Duff, please. Don't go there. Honestly, I thought you guys were moving on. Yeah, me too. Oh, well, you know, um, you just um, need to take it easy. You know, um, you, you know how these things are. I, I, sometimes they don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, a confirmed bachelor, giving me advice on marriage. What do you know about marital spats? You me, I'll get, I'll get there sometime. Trust me. And then, how, how did it go at the meeting? Excellent. Just as you suggested, the guys were at ease talking to a partner instead of talking to just any representative. Oh, so uh, I think I think they're going for it. So you turned on the charm then? Everything I got, bro. Threw it away. Any, any, any females on board? Oh, come on, like, I had a package proposal. Uh, any females on the board? I well, asked you, did you turn on the charm? You said yes. Any female we on board? went for a presentation. It, it was good. It sold. Any female on board? <laughs> <laughs> Double D. Hey, hi man. You alright? Alright, just typical busy day. Look, you need to take things easy. The state calls for a bit more caution. I'm trying. You asked me to drop by, what's good? Well, I'm sending you to a gym with properly trained physical and fitness instructors. I'm doing this not only as a doctor but also as a friend. Here's a diet plan. I want you to take it very, very seriously. Every information you need is in there. Thank you. I will. Look. One more thing. As a home front. Honestly, or you want a polite answer? That bad, hmm? Yeah. Anyway, I have given you some relaxants to help you. You need to get a lot of rest. And that means taking real and your relationship off your mind. It is important that your system, both physically, mentally, and otherwise, is not burdened any further. I know it's easier said than done, but I don't want you to end up killing yourself for nothing. You've got to begin to live for yourself. What is done is done. Listen, she didn't deserve you from the beginning. She's always wanted some other person. Maybe you should have let her go then. It's okay. It's okay. I wanted to win. And I did. I wanted to make everybody happy. And I did. But here I am. My parents are dead now. Happy in their graves. Her own mom is dead. Happy in her grave. But I'm here stewing in my own juice. You know, it's so unfortunate. So, so lucky. But a thousand and one beautiful and decent women out there. Good women. No, no, no. You, you took the last one of them. Hi, <laughs> how's Bisi, my, my darling Bisi? How's she? She's there. The kids. Spending my money. That's what they're there for. <laughs> Listen, thank you. All, All right. right. Give my love to her. I'll worry you here. And don't worry. I'll, I'll take this seriously. Thank you. Okay? Okay.
I find it dangerously hard to get over. There we I'm only taking back what I should have taken back years ago. You didn't really think I'll come after you once again, did you? You shouldn't have let me go in the first place. I know, girl. I was, um, I was a coward. Mm -hmm. I uh, had nothing to offer you back then. But it's different now. Is it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're so at ease in this house. Under the circumstances, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's my friend's house. <laughs> and I'm with my girl. Mm -hmm. What else could I have asked for? What else? What else should I ask for? Yeah. As a matter of fact, let me show you how much at ease I am in this house. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Come here, you. Perfect planning and marketing strategy, I must confess. <laughs> well, um, we'll be expecting our first delivery for the rapid digital tie inflator. In how many weeks? Two weeks. How about the engine performance booster? Hmm. Aggressive marketing at its best. Let's take prisoners here. Well, um, that for now shouldn't be discussed, maybe later on. Um, you know, first strategy is not a, a cheap company to do business with and um, why don't we settle on the payment for this first and then we'll talk about that later. Well, it's all right. I, we can leave with that. We'll, 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 we'll conclude on this one and then we'll take it from there. Uh, my GM here, Mr. Charles, will uh, arrange the next meeting when which should be... Two weeks, will that be okay then? Good, two weeks. Yeah, when, two when, weeks. When we get delivery in two weeks, we'll do the next meeting in two weeks. Thank you. Thank you very much. All alone, I got it wrong. Couldn't tell what's right or wrong Now I know The right is right and the left is wrong This makes me feel so strong Two runs the same Never ever make it right But here you are with all the light To make my life so bright Shine so bright in the dark. He was the one. My life, my life, my dream. You early? Hmm. So, how was your day? Fine, yours. Interesting. Well, you first. So, what did you get up to? This and that. Which is exactly what? Look, Zeno, can we not do this? Can we not do the hello, darling, I'm glad you're back thing? If you have something to say, spit it out, okay? I saw the the other day. And they did some tests. Mm -hmm. And he said that uh, my heart is strained. Mm -hmm. And he advised to sign up with the gym immediately. And that if I don't take it easy on my heart, I might have to go into surgery. Uh, so it's settled then? What is settled? You go to a gym, you lose weight and you're fine, right? That's it? That's all you have to say about what I just told you? The fact that I have to take it easy or no pressure on my heart, otherwise I'll go into surgery, that's all you have to say? Has it come to this? Has it come to what, Zeno? Why are you being so dramatic? You've been medically advised to lose weight, so lose it. What's the big deal? The big deal is if I had a home here and I lived the world, I'd, I'd, okay, you know what? You're right, forget it. 
you know, you're right. Let's, let's not even do this. How are you thinking? How was your day thing? You know? So, you're right. Forget it. I want to buy my recharge card. Eh? Hello, my dear. Hello, madam. Um, is there something we can help you with? More furniture, you know, we'll be glad to help you. <laughs> Not at all, my dear. Just that I would like to see the other lady that I attended. That's Obi. Yes. Um, she just stepped into the ladies. If you wait just a minute, she'll be right out to attend to you. Unless, of course, it's something I can help you out with. <laughs> yes, my dear. You can also attend to me. Just that I checked the receipts she gave to me and I saw that the figures on the receipts are wrong. So I decided to bring it back before she gets into trouble. You're quite right. My goodness, she wrote a receipt for one million now instead of a hundred thousand. Exactly. exactly. I'm really sorry, Ma. Please Not don't be worry. offended. Not to worry. If you just dear. wait a minute, come with me. I'll write you another one. All right. Thank you. Please. Okay. Dear. I want to cry for you. I will not cry for you anymore. You idiot. I will not even waste my words for you. I won't. You. You're not even worth it right now. You're not worth it. Believe me. nothing to worry about. I see my friend and colleague falling apart little bits every day. There was an old man the other day and now the lady today. Please tell me, does he have anything to do with you calling Buddy the other day? Or is it just suppressed stress from a time when your mom was ill? At least she's better now. I think it's a bit of everything. But honestly, I am fine, okay? Before stop looking at me like that, I'll start to cry. Okay then. We've been more than friends. Really, we've been like sisters. I just hope that when you do decide to talk, you talk to me. I like my friend back, okay? Today, if possible. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. Um, we're here to see Mr. Martino. Um, is he around? He is, but he's busy. Well, I guess we could wait then. Can we? Okay, take a Can seat. Wait? Okay. I'll tell you around. Okay. Okay. Um, Mary, yes, is Zeno in the office? Yes. Please. Okay, thanks. Is he in a meeting? No, he's not. What? Hey, G for Daff. It's flu. What flu? Flew. Those guys, they want the MP3s. How many? 500! Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't believe it! 500! They're buying one each for each member of their staff. These oil companies, they get money. Big six. Big six. <laughs> Z for zero. Z for down. Man. Oh my. Anyway, this is where you come in. Yes. We need to do the supplies by the end of the week. That means we have three days to put this together. Uh, that's not a problem. I call the bank, yeah. pull in the overdraft facility, yeah. 
sign the papers, send them to you, you do the follow up, and that's it. Eh? Yeah, no problem. Hey, 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 deep enough. Zito, Mary. It just, it just happened like that. You know? Yeah, Mary, bring me two glasses. This calls for a little bit of huh? a, a, a big a, bit, a big a, bit of celebration, a big bit of it. Oh, come on. <sighs> Let's not uh, end today on a sad note. Yeah? Come on. Let's not end today on a bad note, okay? Besides, you know my Sumi. Must you leave? Oh, come on, I gotta go. <laughs> stay, it's okay. <stay>. Come see me. Oh, come on, girl. <laughs> I really don't want to, but I need to. Besides, remember what I always say? Hmm. Food tastes better when shared. Cheeky thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the you I love so much, child. Bright, pretty, intelligent, witty. All the beauty of nature flowing from within. Don't let anyone ever take that away from you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you will make some man a beautiful wife someday. I don't even want to hear the word man. They're a nasty species. Nasty. Don't worry. This too will pass someday. Come on. Let's go have dinner. Hey, bro. Big for down. Hey. How's it going, man? I know you were stopping by. Yeah, um, surprise visit. You, you went out. Yeah, but you went to work out. <laughs> let's, let's go back here. Oh, no. Um, I've been here for a while. Uh, Rio has been um, quite uh, entertaining. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Uh, thank you. No, thank you, Daddy. Daddy, you guys do it. Uh, you're sure you don't want to come back here? Let's see. I don't mind being away. No, no, uh, let's do this some other time. Another time, yeah. But uh, Will's quite wonderful. Yeah, good yeah. for you. Yeah? Yeah, yeah see the office. Uh, see you tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah? yeah? I've enjoyed using it, but I will even enjoy distributing it a lot more. Yes, Mr. Zeno. It's very all the necessary regulatory standards. And I'd like to add, though, that making you a sole distributor of this product mm -hmm. will add another further to your cap. And the beauty of it all is that it's every corporate executive dream come true. A little walkabout gadget, ideal for catching up while we're on the go. I feel you on that, man. I feel you on that. Uh... Daph, Miss Williams, any questions? No, it's all been answered in the brief, yeah. Oh, good. Well, um, when do we expect the first shipment? In about a month's time. Good. Well, I'll make sure every corporate executive uses one in this country. But if no other questions... So we do five minutes of this and we rest it out a bit, okay? So? Mr. Ozezi? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you see? Is something wrong? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Since you started this program, you've not been concentrating. Oh, I'm sorry, I, uh, my mind was somewhere else. Mr. Ozezi, something is wrong. You need to tell me so I, I said I'm fine. Then focus. If you're here, please be here and allow me to do my job. If you're not ready, then we call it a day. I'm sorry, okay, I'm really sorry. But I need you to work with me so we can achieve results, okay, please. So, did you see the ceremony on TV? What ceremony? The excellence awards by the Lagos State Government for thriving businesses. First strategy got an award. Please, tell me you saw how good I looked. <laughs> oh yes, I did, my dear. You looked really good. But then again, I trust you. Big man's wife. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, besides, what else is there to do in this life of mine apart from eating, sleeping, and going shopping? Rio, you need to take it easy on your system. All hope is not lost. Miracles still do happen for some people. You're going to have to stop beating up on yourself. Your husband is a good man. He's patient. Please. I have a husband, for want of a better word, who makes more money than I can spend, is married to his job and leaves me alone. Basically, darling, we are okay. <laughs> you don't care anymore, do you? It was too late from the beginning. Besides, a certain gentleman makes sure that all my physical needs are well met. Rio, is that the only way forward? Zuno is a good man. Save me the gospel. It's way too late. Are you sure you don't want some vodka in your orange juice? Mm. Trust me, there's nothing like a screwdriver. <laughs> mm. Okay, 
So, round like this, straight. You're not turning it round. You're supposed to go round. Okay, now we do a lift off. Lift, lift. Don't clap it. And don't clap. Lift off, higher than mine. Lift. What are you doing? I really didn't come to exercise. So what are you doing here? I just Look, you did not even have an appointment today. I had to bomb somebody off because of you. I just wanted a chance to see you. And also to apologize for my non-concentration the other day. As I recall, you were really quite upset. I will be even more upset if you waste my time today. I actually came to really, really, really apologize for my behavior. You really, really, really did not have to come here to apologize to me. Okay. I also came to take you to dinner. No. Please? No. Mr. Ozezi, no. Hey, do you think you can manage to call me Zeno? No. No to what? No to dinner or no to Zeno? No! Okay, is there a chance of you go, go you know, me taking you to dinner in the future? We'll see. Oh, oh. So there is a small chance then. Good night, Mr. Zizi. Zeno, please. Zeno. I'll give you the progress reports, all with photographs. Any other thing before I take my leave? I love her, you know. Time was when this, when I wouldn't have thought. This would have been, you know what? Let's go for it. All right, sir. I want, I want details of everything. Anybody... Consider it done, sir. <gasps> oh, very well. Thank Good you. you. I'm glad to hear that. I actually feel better than fitter. Um, all that shortness of breath is all, almost gone. And then my cigarette smoking, I've reduced it. Good. You must give a recommendation to my boss, though. I mean, I've been useful. I will. If you want me to, I will. Uh, but then again, I'm sure he already knows that. Nah, I'm just teasing. Because if you tell him, he will give me everyone else's workload and I don't want that. I mean, it's easy to work with you because you're in tune with me. Because you cannot imagine the kind of people I have to work with. But you've been a good student. I've had a good teacher. You know, I'm really surprised that we can really work easily together. I thought it would be difficult. Why would you think that? It's a mindset that people like me have about people like you. You know, Lagos big boy. You know, but I hope you don't mind my being frank. You know, when people do this, <laughs> I don't get it all the time. But hey, truth is, people like me don't get being frank all the time. So it's okay. Uh, well, time's a wasting. I really need to go home now. It's been fun. Good. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm meeting a friend here later. I asked a friend to meet me here, so I'm really not in a hurry to go. Are you? Well, um... Please, stay with me a while, alright? Call it my reward for being such a good student. Yeah, right. <laughs> Please? Okay, you win. Okay, you win. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Everything. For instance, um, how you came to work here. What do you study to become a physical instructor? PE? <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, this is actually a part-time job for me. Oh. Mm -hmm. I work at Alibert Furniture. Mm. Um, I get off work at 4 p.m. and then I come here for the rest of the day. Pretty boring daily routine. But sometimes I get lucky. We meet interesting people. You, for example. I see. Can I ask you a personal question? Depends. How old are you? Oh, that's easy. I'm 28. Oh. 
Oh. Oops, what? Is that you or me? That's me. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, oh, quite an impressive video. Can I have a look? Oh, you into gadgets? Oh, by the way, I hear you have a franchise to distribute this in Nigeria. How's that going? Not bad. You, you, you fascinate me. I do? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> uh, well, I have to get going. Time's up. Uh, where's home, by the way? Sulu. Can I drop you at home? <laughs> um... You want to leave the island, to take me to the mainland, only to come back to the island and then your house is a few blocks away from here. Yeah, I see my registration has given me up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you. I have a car. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So I see your friend is not coming anymore. Apparently not. Well, but aren't you going home? I mean, your wife must be waiting. Right, right about what? I'm sorry. Um, that didn't come out as it should. I'm, I'm really sorry. Sometimes just put your foot in it and say some things that are better left unsaid. How do you remedy it? Apologize. Yeah, but what what if you don't feel like that covers it? What is it, darling? Nothing. Okay. I think, no, not, not I think, I said something to someone and I think I might have hurt the person. I see. Usually when a woman tries to avoid using gender when referring to a third party, it's usually a man. Who is he? No one, mom. No one. Then an apology is sufficient. Okay, he's a friend I just met. Just a friend, mommy, just a friend, okay? Okay, go ahead. He, he looked like he was bothered about something and I just said something and I, I think I made it worse. An apology is always sufficient, darling. Are you sure? I'm sure, child. Come, sit with me. You know, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, you need to live life to the fullest in your youth. 
not run the distance between two jobs and me at home. I'm not complaining. And I'm fine. Yes, I know you are. And I'm glad. You are a young, beautiful girl with a lot of love and goodness to give to the world. Don't stifle it. Someday, your joy is going to come before your obligations. When that happens, let it be. I hear something in your voice that, you're, that it seems you're trying very hard to restrain. Let it go. Give it wings. Let it fly. But, Mommy, I didn't... Shh. Let it fly. How's your program going, Mr. Zeno? Fine, fine. Actually, I uh, I called you out here for a small favor. Mm. Please. Uh, how many people does she take on in a week? In a week? I mean, Obi, how many people does she take on in a week? Um, twelve people every week. Uh, but why do you ask? Um, I would, would like her to concentrate on me. Anytime I come to train, you know, um, and whatever that will entail in terms of cost, I'll be able to pay. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but I hope she hasn't been showing you any sign of distraction. Oh, no, no, no. She's been fantastic. On the contrary, she's a wonderful uh, professional. I just want to get this program over with on time. That's all. Uh, uh, well, well uh, there's no issue there. Like I said, it won't be a problem. Um, I'll work out the cost price, send it to your office or to your house. I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up here. And then if you like, I can speak with her to increase your training hours anytime you are with her. Fantastic. We'll, we'll, we'll take it as it goes, all right? Yeah. And one more thing. Yeah. I would like this to be between the two of us. I'll, I'll tell her when I'm ready, okay? As you like it, Mr. Po uh, Zeno, as you like it. All right, good. It's all right. Nice I'll just do some 20 minutes. All right, right, man. No all problem. Right. Cheers. Wait, wait. Mr. Zeno, what What are you doing here, by the way? We, didn't, we don't have an appointment for today, do we? I just wanted to see you. I came here because I wanted to see you. Okay, you've seen me, so what? Come to dinner with me. No, no. Say uh, yes. Look, I know a quiet place. I know a nice little place. I'm going to, di to dinner with you. And if you don't say yes, I'm going to be coming every day on scheduled. I'm going to stop you from taking on any other person. I will disturb you every day you come to work. I will come to your house. I will, I will wake up with you. I will sleep with you. Everything. <laughs> Say yes. You know what? Yes. Write a letter to my boss that you want to start working here because you're going to be coming here for a long time and my answer was to be no. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. I'll be here every day. I'll stop work. I'll resume with you and I'll close with you until you go to dinner with me. Please, come on over. The place is small, it's quiet, no paparazzi, nothing. Please. I can't. Hey, 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 what? Why? I just want dinner. Please say yes. Okay. Just dinner. Call it my reward for being a good, a good student. Okay. Okay. Tell me what you want me to do. Nothing. Because you're not supposed to be here. Well, I'm a good student. Thanks for coming out with me. Uh, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> That's why I like you. Always quick to say something back. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> you should meet my mom. You will hear enough to fill your ears. Really? Mm -hmm. Sounds like my kind of person. I'd like to meet her. <laughs> yeah, right. So you hear more stories and tease me with, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about her. If I stop now, I will waste the whole evening and I won't be done. We have time. She's um, she's great, awesome. She's all that and more. Mm. Mm -hmm. I would like to meet her. 
Yeah. I like to meet her and tell her what I feel about the perfect daughter she has raised. You know, how I adore and cherish her. Zeno, please don't. Why? I have never been more serious in my life about anything. We can't do this. <laughs> See? That's so amusing. Did you hear what I said? Yes, you said we can't do this. It means there is a we, right? For real, Zeno. You're married. Mm. And you're my client. I could lose my job. I need both my jobs. My marriage is a sham, Obi. But I guess you already know that. Listen, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not trying to apportion blames here, all right? It's just that the truth is, in the past five years of the eight years we've been married, my wife and I, we've lived, you know, separate lives. Somehow she blames me for her inability to have children. Um, all the doctors and the specialists, they all say the same thing, that there's nothing wrong with us. She's a good person, but I guess we all just react differently when we are under pressure. The last two years has been hell living with her. She um, resorted to having affairs. What? Yeah. That's why. That is why I don't want anything to stand in between our happiness, in between the happiness that I feel coming from you that you give me. Look, I don't want to be the one who the world remembers as the woman that broke your marriage, okay? This is insane. I can't even believe I'm discussing this with you. Do you care about me? That's not the point. That's the point, Obi. Do you care about me? Yes, I do. Then that's it. It doesn't solve anything. On the contrary, it solves everything. Obi, I love you. Listen, Obi, you don't have to say anything, okay? I just want you to know that, that that's how I feel about you. Just want you to know, okay? Um. Eat up before I pull you and kiss you now in public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And I have my face all over the papers tomorrow. <laughs> I can just imagine the headlines. Lagos big boy caught kissing strange girl in public. Who is she? Obi Chukuma reveal. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't dare. <laughs> Oh God, you make me so happy, Obi. You, you, you reach down inside of me and just make me glow and happy. It said that a soul without laughter is a soul that is dead. Now, that is deep. Hmm? Who said that? Aristotle? Mm -hmm. Socrates? No. Who? My mom. Oh, see? <laughs> Tell you what. Let's order her something. I'd like to order her something. Yeah, the food is good. Let's order her something to eat. Tell her a tall, dark, and handsome, dashing man sent this to her as a thank you for raising the perfect gift for him. Uh, I don't know about the gift part, but okay, go ahead and order. Good. <laughs> hey. And I can believe. This is happening to me yeah. I look into your eyes And it feels like paradise In my sky Turns blue when I'm with you. This pain I feel inside. Hello, Mommy. Oh, Hello, Angel. <laughs> my, my. 
bubbly tonight. <laughs> the heavens have opened up and showered blessings on my heart. Mm. <laughs> Come on, spill the beans. Oh, Mommy, I trust you. You know me like no other. <laughs> but first, I brought you dinner because I know you won't eat till I get back. Oh, thank you. Food tastes better, shared. <laughs> well, a friend took me to dinner and bought you this. He asked me to deliver it to you from him. Interesting. That's it? That's all you say? Patience is a virtue. Besides, I know you're not done yet. Oh, mommy. I've met the most wonderful person. But? How can you tell there's a but? I can hear it in your voice. His name is Zeno Uzezi. He's a very, very nice man. A bit of a prominent person in the society. And... He's in a failed marriage. Why do I always come out so unlucky in love? Well, he's always in the papers and the magazines. And so is his wife. She's not the most discreet woman. Go on. The situation we find ourselves in now is that we like each other very much. But there are all sorts of complications. Like? Well, his marriage for one, my job for another. He's our client at the gym and that's how we met. You're not upset with me over the fact that he's married, are you? You know what's right and wrong. Besides, in life, things are not always black and white. There are always gray areas. Yes, I am not ecstatic. But if you were meant to be, there's nothing even I can do about it. But please, be careful. Please. Play hard to get now, eh? Look, I know how to play it too. I'm not playing with you, Mr. Philip. I said stay away from me. Oh, come. What's the matter now? What's the matter? So you think you can mess around with me, give her everything, and then have me for free whenever you wish? What are you talking about? Now? Don't even think about playing smart with me because I know you're sleeping with me. Me? Isn't that why you me. give her everything? Me. Haba. I actually asked to be out once. And she said I should leave her alone. So what else, what else have I done wrong now? So she doesn't give you anything, but you give her everything. When I give you everything any man could ask for, what do I have to show for it? Papa, but there are privileges that you enjoy too now, huh? that nobody knows anything about. Privileges like, as far as I know, she's the one who gets to be the instructor of the month. She's the one who gets all the hottest clients who buy her fancy gifts and take her out to dinner and dinner. Not me. Listen, she got the instructor of the month because our customer nominated her. I, Philip, have nothing to do with this. So did our clients also nominate that she gets all the hottest clients like Mr. Zeno? Listen to me. You have no excuse. As far as I know, very soon you'll be handing on all her ordinary customers so you can create more room for, for important clients, won't you? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, listen. All her customers will be taken from her and give it to somebody else. Because Mr. Zeno demanded for this. On the days he is around, Obi will be with him. That's all. <sighs> Just, this is what I was talking about. I don't even know what I see in you anyway. You're so dumb. Big, remember, I'm your boss. Oh, shut up. You already lost my respect the moment you went down with me. And guess what? You're about to be something even bigger. You're Jim. 
What? Yes. When very soon your big clients would not come in because obviously Obi is not available to take care of them. And then when she starts her gym pretty soon, they will move along with her. But come, so what do you think I should do about this? Hmm. Well, it's very simple. You could tell Obi Mr. Zeno asked you to take away uh, her other clients because of her lack of attention during workout. Simple. But I still don't get this. You're in, even dumber than I thought. Hey, hey listen, I'm, I'm your boss. Look, it is very simple. Obi gets mad at Mr. Zeno and of course stops flirting with him. Mr. Zeno, on the other hand, stops getting attached to her and who knows, you might get some of your favorites with potato back. <laughs> That's quite interesting, you know. But come, um, what if uh, Mr. Zeno finds out that I told Obi? Don't you think he will be mad at me that I told a lie against him? Didn't you say he asked you to take away uh, her car? Said that, yeah. So where is the lie in that? Look, what you understood he was trying to say was that she wasn't doing a very good job. Simple. Anna Bebe. <laughs> you shall you're a dangerous woman. Dangerous but sweet. <laughs> Will I see your face? I feel you slipping away, and I can't believe Will I hold your hand? Run my finger through your hair. I can't believe this is happening to me. Yeah. I look into your eyes, and it feels like paradise. And my sky turns blue when I'm with you And this pain I feel inside It all just slips away This is love, this is love I'm feeling This is love, this is love I'm feeling And my thoughts of you Are the only thing that will do When this world is a mess i 